Hello there folks and welcome back to another Decker video. I am the Little Fling as always and today we're going to be making a quarry. So um, obviously we're going to be using up a bit of these diamonds I've got last time. So this is going to be a bit of fun. Um, it's been something I've been kind of looking forward to doing because it's going to be getting me some resources without me actually needing to do much. So um, it, all it does is require a little bit of setup. So what we're going to need is the quarry itself which does cost um, I believe about ooh, 11 diamonds I think. Um, Plus a lot of a lot of gold and a lot of silver uh, iron even. So, but yeah, we're going to be making straight into this. So I'm going to head down to the uh, farm area because I'm going to need quite a bit of wood because we're going to need a fair amount of gears. Uh, first of all, I believe we're going to need six wooden gears. So I might I probably actually have enough materials on me. Let's have a look first. Uh, yeah, I probably do. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. Um, let's see here. So let's get these. I think actually we might need seven, but I'm really not sure. I know we need at least two diamond gears and two gold gears. So uh, no, nope, we need to make stone gears first. So let's just split them like that, and then like that. So stone gears, and then we need to upgrade at least, four, at least very least four of these into iron gears. So I'll do. I know in fact we need four, so I'll do four first. And then I know we're going to need four gold gears at the very least as well. So let's make four of these. Right, and then I know we need to make two of these into diamond gears. So this is obviously you can see it's really expensive to make this already. Right, so there you go, we've got the diamond gears. So we're also going to need to fix this diamond pickaxe, which I'll do with the covalence dust in a second. Um, let's hit on uses for this. There you go, right, so quarry. We're also going to need three iron gears, so I'm going to need to make another gear, uh, another stick, st uh, stick one, and then we're going to need to make another stone one by upgrading it to stone here, and then we're going to need to finally upgrade all three of these into iron ones, which looks like I just have just enough iron. Um, yeah, I do. That's okay, because I've got loads of iron ore. Right, and then we're going to need to go and fix this diamond pickaxe, so let's head back upstairs. And we're going to need one piece of redstone also, which we have plenty of, so that's okay. I really need to fill in that hole where that creeper died last time. Um, right, let's head back upstairs. I also need to make a way to get back up here. I'm not sure how I can sort of make a way to get back up to the, the house without it sort of looking too uh, built up area. I kind of want to make it, you know, look very sort of hilly and naturally still. Uh, I say natural, but I've already gone over that before, I think. But... Actually, that's the point. That, there was a creeper outside here last time. Where's it gone? Oh, I don't know. It must have despawned. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see. What do we need? What do we need? I've forgotten what I said. We need it now. That was a bonus. Oh, yes. The covenant stuff to fix the diamond pickaxe. So um, I'm just going to grab all three because I'm not sure which one it is to fix the diamond pickaxe. Stick that in there. See if it's the blue. No, it's not the blue. Let's check the diamond. Uh, the dark blue one. No? Okay. Uses. Um... Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, here goes. Oh, it's three three dark blue covenant dust. Okay, so that makes a bit of sense because it's pretty expensive. Um, it's kind of annoying that I'm using it for such a little fix, but whatever. Um, just kind of want it done quickly for now. So, see, diamond pickaxe, and then don't want the diamonds. Want the diamond gears there and there, and then the gold gears here and here, and the iron gears there, there and there, and the redstone at the top. And we have our quarry. Okay, so the next step is to get something to power it. So what we're going to use, we're just going to use the basic, um, I think we're going to use a stone engine. There's three types of engines. You've got stone, um, redstone, and, oh, okay, that's just going to be the redstone. What's the other one called then? Because there's, there's three, as I said, there's three types of engines that you can use. Uh, normally, oh, here goes a steam engine, redstone, steam, and combustion. So steam is the one we're going to be using because it's sort of. I'll go through them. The redstone is like it's just powered by redstone, so redstone signal. So you can just put like a switch next to it and it will work. But it's the slowest of the three. It's also the cheapest of the three to make. The steam engine uh, uh, goes up in power, so it's it's a lot more powerful than the redstone engines, but. Um, they can overheat if you put an, like too many of them down, and then they will make an explosion. But um, four, I think three or four, will be enough 
to not make it explode but to give it far more, enough power it's, it's a significant difference between redstone and that and then lastly you've got the combustion engine which has a high chance of exploding is powered by something a lot actually that's a point i missed that on the steam one the steam is powered by um coal or other materials the same sort of way you power a furnace so um it's going to be fairly expensive to start running it but when we get more materials coming out of it uh, we can just condense things into coal and feed it back in there so that's going to be good um actually i'll grab this coal from in here so the recipe for the steam engine is one piston, two stone in, uh, stone gears, a glass, and three cobblestone. So what we're going to have to do first of all is make a glass, because I don't think we actually have any normal glass. No, we don't. So let's grab the sand. Um, let's cook a bit of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a piece of coal. There you go. So we'll leave that cooking. Um, for the piston, I can never remember the piston recipe, actually. So we're going to need... An iron for each one, a redstone for each one, a cobblestone for each one, and three wood. Okay, so let's get four iron out. Oh, no, I used up all my iron, didn't I? Oh, that's problematic. Okay, I guess I'll have to cook a piece of iron. Um, and then we're also going to need stone, wood, which we've got here, and what was the other bit? Redstone, which we also have. So I guess I'll finish, finish off the rest of it first. I'll put some stone in there. We only need one piece of iron, really. Um... That's what else do we need? So the stone gears. So uh, make some wood, make some more sticks quickly. There you go. That'll be enough. And then three C stick. Make two gears. I think. Oh, it's two for each one, isn't it? Okay, that's gonna be annoying. And stone gear. Uh, wooden gears don't actually have an EMC value, so um, that is pretty annoying. So we're gonna actually have to go and grab some more wood from downstairs after all. I think. Right, but we'll just, we'll just make the one engine for now. Um, so as you can see, this is all fairly expensive, really. Uh, it's not going to actually cook that last one, I don't think, but whatever. We have our iron now, so we're going to make the pistons. Uh, three, see, again. That's in the middle. Those are on either side. Uh, see if we have enough wood. I'm not sure if we do. Yeah, we should do. Yeah. There you go, so that's going to be the three pistons there. Four pistons, sorry. Right, and then we also need more stone gears, the glass, and the cobblestone. So glass is only one EMC, so I'll just uh, plop one of those in there, and then I'll put a bit of... Oh, okay, I had a bunch of EMC left over. Okay, so I'll just turn that EMC back into, like, obsidian or something, because then it's just going to uh, store that for me into the obsidian, and then I can use that as a... Uh, what's it called? Commodity later on by trading it. So um, obviously making obsidian like that is a lot of a more convenient way of making obsidian rather than spending ages mining it out. So I don't really want those in there. Actually, I'll take these out quickly, sort that, and then put them back in. Yay, clever. Okay, so let's go grab some more wood quickly for the power. Obviously because we don't need those gears for the engine. Um, quickly avoid all the mobs oh, and fail at jumping over things still got a lot of wood left over over here so uh, just the normal wood Pop some planks in here there you go crafting bench let's see here we're going to need to make I'll just split that into half so there you go sticks sticks and then split those like that wooden gears okay so seven I think we that's that should be enough. We need another six, so yeah, that'd be plenty. Uh, I don't think I'd, I'm running out of cobblestone now. Okay, so I need more cobblestone. Okay, this is not going well on the resource front, is it? Apparently, I wasn't very well prepared for this. Let's kill this guy. Oh, come here. Right. So I think I did. Oh, I just. I hope I didn't just use up all my cobblestone. That's gonna be kind of annoying. I'll just pick one off the wall. Let's see here. Come here. Right, there you go. One bit of cobblestone. So we can turn something into that. Actually, I've got, a, got all that uh, glass that's turning into obsidian now. I can just use some of that. And there's a skeleton behind me. So I'm just going to try and... Oh, no, he hit me. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. We're still on the side. Let's carry on going. Ah, no. Let's die. Let's die. Right. Don't want things creeping up on me. Or breaking my door down, that'd be kind of annoying. 
Oh, skeleton. Right, you can stay there, Mr. Skeleton. Okay, so uh, let's just turn this obsidian into stone. There you go, so that's plenty of stone. I don't have any inventory space now, so I'll store some of this junk. Don't need that anymore, don't need that. And then grab the stack of stone. Okay, so 3C again. And then get the wooden gears. We're going to need to make three more of these, so make three more stone gears quickly there you go we've got eight stone gears so I think we can now make the yes we can right so piston in the middle stone gears on either side glass in the center and three uh, four pieces of stone in each spot put five and two apparently there you go so we have our engines and our quarry there you go and then we're also going to need Finally, a way of extracting the items from the quarry into a chest. So what we're going to need is pipings. So we've got the glass already and we've got some stone on us as well, actually. So we'll just make some stone pipes because uh, that's the most cost-efficient way of doing it. don't think we need that many, really, but there you go. That's how you make piping. Put one piece of glass and then a material on either side. You can, there's multiple materials you can use for this. Um, let's have a look. If you type in pipe here, you should be able to see most of them. So right here you go, look, you've got all this red, redstone, obsidian, gold, wood, coal stone and stone, work all different, diamond and golden. They've all got different uses, but I'll go over them in time. For now we're just going to use the coal stone transport pipe, um, because that's just what we have on us. So, um, we're going to need a chest as well, actually. And then, I think we probably can upgrade this chest. I don't know actually, no, I'll just keep the normal chest. Um, so yeah, I think that's been enough for today. Uh, next time we will be setting up the quarry and hopefully getting some nice stuff from it. That'll be good. So until next time, I've been The Little Fling as always, and see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.